two days after Senator Rochas Okorocha was arrested by operatives of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, some lawyers are now condemning the action, but they blamed the senator for resisting arrest. The senator whipped up sentiment on social media when he live-streamed the standoff between him and the anti-graft agency. Celestina Area again reports. Operatives of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission had on 24 May 2022 arrived the Metama residence of former governor of Imo State, Senator Rocha Zokorocha, to effect his arrest. The move followed the refusal of the former governor to honor invitations by the commission after allegedly jumping administrative bill earlier granted him by the commission. The EFCC had on 24 January 2022 filed a 17-count criminal charge on diversion of public funds and properties to the tune of 2.9 billion naira against the senator. The case is before Justice Eyang Eko of the Federal High Court Abuja. Attempt to arrange Senator Kurocha was thought twice because of the absence of the senator who was on trial. But Mr. Okorocha had said he was not invading service. He was ready to receive any process the EFCC has for him. It's not so true that they are in any way uh, avoiding being sad. I'm, I'm, I'm a villain. And if the EFCC had called me to come and collect my service, I would have done that. The EFCC applied force to effect the arrest of Senator Okorocha, but this method is now the subject of controversy. Many are against the trauma, the standoff, and eventual break into his house would have caused him and his family members. Justice Eyang Eko had adjourned to 30th of May 2022, and he says that will be the last adjournment he will grant the EFCC if they fail to bring the defendant to court. This order given by the court made the EFCC, as they say, apply the force they used to arrest the senator so he can be arraigned and take his plea. Beyond that is damaged costs in the wake of the invasion. But the EFCC in a statement says, in a bid to ensure proper prosecution of the case, they were left with no other option after exhausting all alternatives to bring him to justice. Lawyers are clear about their opinion on the matter. Issues have to be resolved. One, is it true that he jumped the bill? Two, is it true that he was invited and he ignored the invitation? So these are some of the critical questions that uh, uh, we have to answer. If the questions are answered in the affirmative, then reasonable force can be employed to get him, otherwise not. And after the last adjourned date, the court gave the directives of what to be done. I'm not saying the court say the door must be forced open, but the accused person must be in court, must be compelled. And when it comes to issue of compel, if it means applying minimal force, I don't think that is wrong. Senator Kurocha is currently the senator representing Imo West Senatorial District. He is also a presidential aspirant of the ruling All Progresses Congress, APC. He remains in custody with the APC presidential primaries steadily edging closer. Celestina Iria, TVC News, Abuja.